Senator Bernie Sanders now from Vermont uh, this morning. Uh, Senator Sanders, thanks for joining us. Uh, we just heard Senator Flake talk about the midterm elections right there. I think he thinks he wants Republicans to provide the check on President Trump. You're going to be out on the campaign trail in these final 22, 23 days. What's your closing message? My closing message is that we have to end one-party rule in Washington. Uh, right now, you have a president, you have leadership in the House and the Senate working overtime for the needs of the wealthiest people in this country, turning their backs on working families. Look, you have a Congress that came within one vote, led by President Trump, of throwing 32 million Americans off of the health insurance they have. You have a Congress led by the president that voted to give over a trillion dollars in tax breaks to the top 1 percent at a time of massive income and wealth inequality and drive the deficit way up. You got a president who introduced a budget that would have cut Medicaid by over a 10-year period by a trillion dollars, Medicare by 500 billion, Social Security Disability Fund by $72 billion. That's got to change. And by the way, you raised the issue, George, of climate change. And the comments a moment ago that Larry Kudrow made are so irresponsible, so dangerous, that it's just hard to believe that a leading government official could make them. What the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said is that we have 12 years, 12 years, to substantially cut the amount of carbon in our atmosphere, or this planet, our country, the rest of the world, is going to suffer irreversible damage. We are in crisis mode, and you have an administration that virtually does not even recognize the reality of climate change and their policies working with the fossil fuel industry are making a bad situation worse. You mentioned right at the top that you say we should get rid of one-party rule in Washington. The president has said that it's going to be replaced by mob rule. That's been backed up by an ad the Republicans are now running. I want to take a look. When they go low, we kick... You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. Get up and please get up in the face of some Congress people. The left, he calls it an unhinged mob. Are you worried the Democrats, you heard those quotes right there in the ad, are falling into a trap laid by President Trump? Look, I mean, I think one of the problems that we have is that there is very little civil discourse going on in politics today. And you have a president who I think most people recognize is a pathological liar. The Republicans have very little to say that they can defend. So a lot of the ads they're running are very personal, very deceptive, very dishonest. They're running all over the country. Look, the issue is not, quote, unquote, mobs. In my view, what this whole election will come down to is whether we can mobilize people to come out and vote. Four years ago, as you'll recall, George, when the Republicans won landslide victories all over this country, we had the lowest voter turnout since World War II. So if people are sick and tired of working longer hours for low wages, not able to afford their prescription drugs, not able to afford to send their kids to college, tired of tax breaks for billionaires. You got to come out and vote. You got to stand up and say enough is enough. We don't need one party, right wing party, controlling the House, the Senate and the White House. The president is saying <clears throat> that if, if the Democrats get control, people like you, he calls you crazy Bernie, are going to take over and try to turn the United States into Venezuela. <laughs> right. Well, you know, what can we say about a president who literally does not go a day without saying massive lies? So let's talk about what Bernie would do. Yeah, Bernie would like to end a situation in which we remain the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to all people. And Bernie wants to expand and improve the Medicare program so that seniors now have dental care and have hearing aids and now have vision care that they don't have right now. Bernie wants to end the absurdity of hundreds of thousands of bright young kids not being able to afford to go to college and millions leaving school deeply in debt. He thinks, Bernie thinks, it's more important to invest in the needs of our infrastructure and our working families rather than giving tax breaks to billionaires and large profitable corporations. 
Bernie thinks that we should raise the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour, and I'm proud of the work that many of us did in Ray helping to raise that wage at Amazon. 350,000 workers now are going to be making at least 15 bucks an hour. So what Bernie wants to do is to have a government that represents all of us, not just wealthy campaign contributors. Now, yes. Trump may not like that, but I think most Americans want to see us move in that direction. Does Bernie think that President Trump should be impeached if Democrats take control? Bernie thinks that right now we got three weeks to go, and we should not be deflected from our mission. And what our mission now is to rally the American people, make sure that people come out and vote so that we can recapture the House and hopefully the Senate as well. Before we go, what should the United States do about Saudi Arabia and the, and the disappearance of Jamal Khashoggi? Well, I was glad to hear Senator Flake make a point about ending the war in Yemen. Uh, I introduced a resolution uh, with Senator Lee, a conservative Republican, that said that the Saudi-led war in Yemen, of which the United States is supporting, is unconstitutional. There was no authorization for it. It is a humanitarian disaster. So probably the most significant thing we should do is to end our involvement uh, in the Saudi-led war in Yemen. Senator Sanders, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you, George.